Oh my god, is that cleavage? Hi guys, welcome back. I hope you're all good. It's been a while since I filmed. I feel like I am very out of practice. If you don't know who I am, my name's Amy. I am a Welsh YouTuber that focuses on fashion, lifestyle, beauty, travel. If you're into more of the fashion side of things, I recommend go to my Instagram where I post all my photos. I've got a testing bras video today because I feel like I have been searching for the perfect bra forever. If I'm gonna be honest, like everything in my wardrobe I never wear. So I have about eight bras that are all padded and wired and then two bras that are non-wired. Soft bra, trend is very much in and I wear them the most. I actually have one on right now which is my most worn bra and I've literally had those two bras for about 10 years now. Like literally when I was like a teenager and I was first like having boobs. I just really like the idea of women embracing the natural form of their boobs instead of padding it up. Like when you're bigger busted, you obviously you need that support. But I love the shape of a boob that's like quite natural, very like 90s. And the whole like free nipple vibe is very current right now. You have to do whatever feels comfortable with you because every girl is different. I think bras are one of those very taboo subjects. I literally don't wear a bra most days, but I really like the feel of a soft bra and that's just my personal preference. So today I've like decided that I'm gonna do a try on bra situation and I hope it helps someone. I really want a strong soft bra collection in my wardrobe. I want to get rid of all my padded bras. hate the constriction. It actually brings on some panic attacks sometimes. Sizing wise I'm very in between sizes so I just got a few different everyday bras that I think are worth talking about. I put up a poll on Instagram a while back now but a lot of you gave me some inspiration for these purchases. It's such a good response so thank you guys if you were one of them that responded to me. It really does help with all my research. You guys can help me figure out what bras I need to keep. It'll be very interesting. So the brand that was literally the most common out of that poll on Instagram was ASOS. I've been told that they do a really good basic bra collection and what I like about ASOS is they do a three pack. So I've got two three packs here. A few of you were like go for the fuller bust one. I am not usually a fuller bust. I got it anyway just to compare because I feel like um, I'm on the bridge of sizing wise. I thought I'd been a 32B for like ever, but I actually haven't. I went to get measured recently and it turns out I'm a 30B or a 32 double D, which is very unusual because you would not be able to tell. And actually my friends were fully shocked. I was fully shocked because I do not look like I am full of busted. This will be able to tell because I don't class myself as a full of bust kind of girl. So I got a full of busted and I also got a regular to compare. The full of bust section they had the right correct sizing of like 30 double D, a 32 E, they had all the like correct back sizes to cup measurements whereas normal bras were only size 8, 10, 12, that sort of sizing, which is very odd. This one here, I got a 30 double D, that was the smallest size they could do. And then this one is the normal size, it is a size 8, no size 10. I think I got a size 10 because I thought it would fit me better on the boob area. All of the pricing will be in the description box, but I will try and remember. I think this was around £22 for three bras. They come like this, adjustable straps, proper hook and eye situation at the back, which is really handy. So I find that a lot of the soft bra ranges are pullovers, so they don't actually have a fastening at the back. I don't want to do that in the mornings. I want to just be as lazy as possible. Comes with a black one, a white one, and quite like a, I think this is supposed to be nude, but as you can see, it's kind of a pinky color. Like, I say this was like a soft, baby, peachy pink. At first glance, these are tiny, these little triangle things. I'm not sure it's gonna fit me properly. Even a size 10, like this in a size. How are you supposed to know someone's breast size? Weird, I don't understand why they did that. I really wish that they did like regular bra sizing in the normal size, because that would help so many girls out. Looking at this right now, it looks, the cup bit looks tiny. So I'm gonna try on the regular sized one first because this would be the usual thing I would go for. Okay, so this is the normal sized bra um, in the pink color. I actually am pleasantly surprised with 
the like shade of this pink. I actually quite like it. I know it's not nude at all, like it is definitely not nude, but I really like the pink colour. The only thing I would say is the straps are really loose, so I'm gonna just quickly adjust the strap so they're sitting a bit better. Excuse my back back that area and probably my nipples as well. I don't feel comfortable in it and there is one thing that I hate. My boobs slightly sway outwards and I feel like it's not supporting. I really want it to be like here on me to feel really giving me that maximum support. When I do that you can see like half my boob has come out. I feel like it needs to be a lot wider so that it gives me that support here. As I tightened the straps I felt like it was a lot more supportive so I definitely needed that tightening. Back is very like minimal which I kind of like in a way but I can see it's digging into like this bit of my back. I do love the triangle but I don't think it flatters my boobs in any sort of way. I don't know how I feel about this. One massive plus about this bra. They are microfiber bras that are made from recycled um, materials. I would happily invest the extra pennies into ethical and sustainable fashion. It's around about seven odd pound for a bra which is quite a good deal I think. Fabric is just Oh, I just love microfiber fabric. I think it's like the most comfortable thing. I actually always buy my knickers in microfiber fabric because they're just so comfortable, especially if you like shave and all that. So we have the fuller bust ones here. This is the smallest size I could get. First thing I can see is that it is double lined. It's giving you more coverage and support. It feels a lot sturdier as a material. This is just one piece of fabric. This strap at the back is way thicker than this one here. This is at least two centimeters on the back thicker than this one. The triangle comes a bit higher up which is good. The straps on the shoulders are a little tiny bit thicker as well. The hook and eyes on the back are double and these are only single. Let me just Put the babies forward a bit. <gasps> Can, oh my god, this is amazing. This feels so much better than the other one. It even gives me a bit of cleavage, like Look at that. First thing I'm gonna say is, you can see here, is really actually covering me a lot more than the other one. The triangle is so much bigger and it makes such a difference. As sizing is concerned, I don't know if the back's too small or not. Like, it, I do feel a lot of pressure by here. I was told two fingers all the way around and it is two fingers all the way around. So this is probably the right size and I guess after a couple of wears it will stretch out a bit. I feel a lot more supportive. Love the microfiber fabric. I'm not sure if I should size up on the back or not. I'm like, mm. I can tell you now between that normal bra and this one, it's made such a difference. So if you're like me and you're on that spectrum of like a B cup, C cup, definitely do try the fuller bust bras in like the lowest possible sizing. It gives me the best coverage. If you're fuller bust, I would probably recommend to size up one or two sizes though, because if I can fit in this happily, then yeah there's some issues going on in the world. Sloggy was the next brand that was talked about on my Instagram. What I really was impressed with is the fact that there's like no delivery charge. I don't know if it was like a one-off. I've heard so many good things about Sloggy, about how their like everything, their underwear and their bras are so comfortable. I actually had a Sloggy crop top when I was really young that I absolutely love. This was the cheapest bra that they do. It is a cotton bra. It's in the size 32C, which I think is the smallest size that I could get. Slightly more like scooped by here, so it doesn't come right to the seam line. It has a tiny little lace detail on the sides there, but you can barely see it. In black, because black is such a wearable colour, did have really more expensive ones. It only has a single fastening on it by the way, which is annoying because I do love a double fastening, I'm not gonna lie, even though it's a pain to get on. Now a brand that no one ever thinks about when it comes to underwear. So this could be my favourite bra. This feels amazing on. It does make me feel a little bit like a baby because I wore sloggies when I was younger. It gives me way more support here because it's thick all the way around here and the thinnest point is actually 
at the back there. It is a lot thinner on the boob area, so if you're worried about your nipple showing, this is probably not the bra for you. You put on a bra and you're like, oh, the straps are too long, and you have to like go like this to kind of tighten them. The little adjustable bit is actually here, so you can actually just put on your bra and adjust it when it's on, which is really handy. These are not gonna move, like ultimate support is happening here. For a tanner, you can't really go wrong, especially when they do free delivery. The next brand was Urban Outfitters, because someone did mention in the Instagram poll that Urban Outfitters was gonna be a good one. I found this really cute set. We'll put all the um, product information and prices down below if you're wondering. I had to buy them separately. Could just buy the bra by itself, but I did. I ended up buying the knickers as well, because I thought it was a really cute set. These are the pants, and I think they're really cute. Very highlight. They're gonna look really cute on, I think. So this is the bra, very much a spaghetti strap situation. I don't think it's gonna give me like the best support. Also, this is a pullover as well, which is a big negative for me. I don't really like to like stretch out and do some flexing or anything to put a bra on in the morning. I love the like ribbed fabric material. It was 12 pounds. So the set altogether was 18 pounds. I got this in a size small and I also got the bottoms in a size small. This is the bra on, least supportive. Love the color though. I'm so sorry if you can see my nips. I'm obsessed with mint green, like everything is mint green. Adjusted the straps to like the most it can go and it still doesn't feel very supportive, so it would have to be like up here for me to feel really comfortable. Pullover bit wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Like, I actually thought it was gonna be really annoying, but it wasn't like this material stretches so well. I think after a while the straps would probably just fall like this on me. But yeah, I think it's really cute as an all round bra, but I'm not gonna waste my time on it because I'm probably not gonna get it. I couldn't actually do this video if I didn't do a Primark shop as well. Like, so many of you mentioned Primark. To be honest, I was blown away at the selection. I have this wireless bra here which is a three pack everyday comfort bra made from cotton. It's got a piped lining around it but doesn't have any wire in it and it has like this really cute lace detail on it so I'm going to be really excited to try this. Then I also have very similar to the ASOS microfiber situation that we tried on earlier so this is going to be really intriguing comes in a three pack as well as this one i think they were both eight pounds if i remember rightly very reasonable and very cheap for bras 260 270 for a bra that's really good i was thinking primark not very ethical not very sustainable but the funny thing is, my best bra that I've had for about 10 years, or whatever, is Primark. I'm gonna try on these microfiber bras first. This is size small, which is 10 to 12. They had an extra small out of stock. The triangle actually looks quite decent on there, so I feel like that's gonna be quite nice. Three hook and eyes at the back, so there is a lot of support going on at the back. Nude flesh color, which is very much not pink like the ASOS one, um, a black and a white one. I'm not gonna lie, it feels very oddly shaped, which it all Primark things do. Pulls up at the back ever so slightly. It feels like it's not sitting under my boob, like this seam here isn't sitting under this boob and this one is like gathered a bit here. Very comfortable material and if you're on a budget this is probably going to be quite good. There is a lot of gappage going on here like I could fit a whole hand in in the side like it's like gaping a bit. It doesn't really come too high to my armpit which is annoying. Colour is great if you want a nude bra. I can never find really good nude bras. They do the UK sizing which is really annoying and this is a size small. This is very much more realistic than the um, ASOS sizing. You get a lot more coverage than the ASOS. It's like, I don't know if you can see, but it feels like it's pulling up my back. Probably not gonna get this one. I'd rather invest my money into something that's gonna last me a long time in my wardrobe. I know it's cheap, but it probably won't last me as long. So yeah, this is a no. Um, so I'm gonna move on to the next one. These really caught my eye. Like I went to get these because I knew they had these in by a friend. When I turned my head and saw these, I was like, oh my god, cute. Look how cute this little lace number is. Like a little bow in the middle. They're a lot prettier than these. Nude is a lot more pinky. Only size they had that was literally anywhere near my sizing was 34C. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Because So this is the last one and 
maybe the best one. There's one funny detail though that I noticed when I put on is that the strap on this side is actually being sewn the wrong way round. Actually like a decent pretty everyday bra. Cotton and feels like nothing on. Two hook and eye situation going on here. Feels like it's very supportive under my armpit. It's so good like it feels amazing on like I'd be so happy to wear this every day. Good happy balance between something like a triangle, very basic bra and a lacy number. It's like a fusion between them both. I do feel like they're fully supported and they're fully in. I'm just gonna pop my top on now. So yeah, um, now I've got a top on. I hope you got something from this video and it helps you when you pick out your bras because I've honestly needed a video to watch like this. Let me know what your favorite bra is or if I've missed out any brands that you think are worth talking about. All the products will be in the description box if you want them. Obviously not the Primark ones because they're rubbish with their website. Really hope to see you again guys. Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this and I will see you in the next one.